Let's calculate the molar solubility of lead to iodide in a solution that already contains some iodide. In fact, 0.1 moles per liter of iodide ions. To solve the question, you're going to need the KSP or the solubility product constant for lead to iodide. I looked it up and it's 1.4 times 10 to the negative 8. Now to figure out solubility, you should first create the equation of that solid which is going to dissolve, dissolve in. When a solid dissolves in water, well, I suppose it becomes AQ, but it breaks up into its ions. The ions here are PB2+, and you're going to get two iodide ions out of it as well. Cool. The initial concentration of the solid, we don't even have to worry about because solids, the concentration of solids don't play a role in equilibrium. It only matters that they're there. And we're going to say that we start with no lead, but we do start with some iodide. This is why it's important to know the initial concentration of iodide to know how much of this will dissolve. We're actually starting with 0 0.1 moles per liter of that iodide. The change here for every one PBI2 that dissolves, we're going to gain one PB2+. We don't know how much is going to dissolve, so we'll call it X. And you know what matters to me? What matters is that you get two iodides for each one of those. So this concentration goes up by 2X. That means our equilibrium concentrations are X and 0 0.1 plus 2X. Now, to solve for X, we use these equilibrium concentrations in the equilibrium expression with this as the KEQ. What I mean is 1.4 times 10 to the power of negative 8 is the product, get it, solubility product, of the PB2 plus concentration times the concentration of iodide, but the concentration of iodide is squared because of the coefficient 2 here. Your job to find the molar solubility is to solve for x in this equation. Now, if you multiply this out, you're going to end up with uh, like a 4x cubed, etc. I can't solve cubic equations without some kind of calculator. It would be really nice if we had a way to simplify this. Now, because Ksp is pretty small, that's, I don't know, I judge it by 10 to the negative 5 is small enough, and this is even uh, more significant than that, it's negative 8. What that means is that this 0 0.1 plus a tiny number is still going to be about 0 0.1. It's like if you give a millionaire a dollar, they're still about a millionaire. You haven't changed them significantly with that one single dollar. Well, two dollars in this case. So what that means is we have 1.4 times 10 to the negative 8 is x times about 0 0.1 squared. Note the plus 2x is insignificant compared to the 0.1, so we can just leave it off. Might be better if I say approximately here, and your job is to solve this equation, which is much more reasonable. 0.1 squared is 0 0.01. And so to solve for x, we really just have to divide this side by 0 0.01. Divided by 0 0.01. That gives me 1.4 times 10 to the negative 6 moles per liter as the amount of Pb2 plus that will dissolve and correspondingly the number of moles of PbI2 that will dissolve per liter of 0.1 molar sodium iodide solution. This is less than would have dissolved if you were doing it in pure water because you already had some iodide in solution. That's called the common ion effect, and it's probably what your teacher's trying to get at when they give you this question. Thanks for staying with me, and best of luck.